Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And this is Pete J. And we're coming to you on the road again on our California road trip here. Pete, you're looking out over Oakland, California. Oakland, the land of the oak tree. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, it's it's nice to visit California. It's a good place to visit. You know, I wouldn't want to live there, though. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Although we did. You know, we the overdogs. Anyway, we're yeah. in town today, old Sakura Hills. It's been, been a while since we've been out here to this park. Many bad memories at this park, but uh, here's your bee wolves showing up on the line there right now. These bee wolves are hot, red hot. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They really turned down their turned their fortunes around. Uh, I think back to the first uh, four games of the season where we couldn't uh, we couldn't buy a win, uh, and now you look at where they're at uh, at this stage. Um, very happy with that. By the same token, you and I have said over and over and over again, you don't want to be playing your best baseball at the beginning of the season. You want to be playing it toward the end. And we're we're just about halfway through, so we still got a whole half a season to go here. So let's hope they can uh, keep playing well. Real briefly, you had some notes on the last time they met. Uh, how about that? What, what what happened with the last meeting with the uh, the Gold Coats? The last meeting between the uh, Gold Coats and the uh, and the uh, 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 Bee Wolves. Okay, well the uh, Bee Wolves took the game, um, really put a shellac shellac in on the Gold Coats. The Bee Wolves took it 15 to six. Um, Hurley Bender started that game for the Bee Wolves. Unfortunately, he only got to throw eight pitches before he took a hot smash off of uh, the uh, bat of, uh, who was it? I can't even remember. <laughs> I, know, I know it if I heard it. Let's see. Uh, I think it might have been uh, Thornton, uh, their, oh. their first baseman. I think it might have been Th Thornton. Oh. Um, and then he, yeah, he was he was down, and we had to go with the platoon system, wound up uh, going with uh, Tats Bell for Benson Rushmore, and then uh, had brought in Smack Avery to close out the uh, the day. But uh, Benson Rushmore took the uh, bulk of that, pitched four innings for us to, to, to uh, bring in the uh, win. Um, and luckily, it was a hot day for uh, Hanley Dexteras, who went five for five on the day, Tom. He hmm. scored three runs, had three RBIs, and he hit two home runs on the day. So Jeez. big day for uh, Hanley Dexter's against the Gold Coats. I'm sure he's uh, he's uh, salivating, looking forward to getting uh, to getting another, another shot at these Gold Coats. <laughs> well, before we move on to the Gold Coats, let me tell you a little about that six-one uh, lead from the Moon Stars there, Pete. I didn't do the, the I didn't do the things. All right, <laughs> reading the wrong notes. All right, let's just skip to. <clears throat> Cut out. I'll cut that out in the edit. All right. So a little little technical glitch there. I thought I was going to have the um, the the rundown from the Moonstars game, but apparently I lost those notes on the way here. So we don't have the replay from the Moonstars. Too bad. It was a game, Pete. Six to one. <laughs> it was. It was. in uh, the Moonstars are one of the again uh, one of the toughest uh, tougher teams in the league. Uh, just like the Crocodons, they're led by their pitching and. Uh, we had uh, quite the uh, quite the burden ahead of us with Slip Souter. I mean, uh, he had fallen off of the uh, a lot of the uh, lists we were checking before the game started. And normally he's right up there, top ten in in a lot of uh, standings there, but uh, in a lot of the uh, areas. But uh, he seemed to have slipped off. But he was still a tough pitcher, Tom. Yeah, he was. Just going off memory too. Here we got we got one clip here. Uh, the um, Hanley Dexteris. I was able to get a home run, uh, keep the Beowulfs in there, and, and uh, yeah, that's just going off of memory. I did with that with my notes. Uh, he's he's been doing well with home runs lately too. Yeah, he's been on a home run tear. Yeah, that that home run was the uh, a two run shot. I believe it was in the eighth inning, and that really that capped the scoring. Um, the B the Beowulfs held the the Moon Stars to one run through the whole game, and they they picked up that run in the first inning. So. Um, yeah, it was a great game. I thought it was a really good game. B-Wolves did what they had to, made Slip Sauter throw pitches. He wound up leaving the game, I think it was uh, in the sixth inning, um, and he was up at over 80 pitches already. So, um, yeah, he, the B-Wolves were able to kind of uh, keep chipping away, chipping away, forcing Sauter to throw more and more pitches, and eventually, you know, they were able to start uh, getting getting to him. But he held the uh, the B-Wolves scoreless through the first uh, five, six, uh, five innings, I believe. Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, there's uh, six other games we need to, to give you the score on, people, before we get to this game and kind of show you where the, we are in the standings. So why don't you start it off giving us the, the score from the Jacks 
out in St. Louis visiting the Sirloins. All right. Jack's taking on our rivals, the Sirloins. Sirloins jump out to an early lead, hold on to win, 7-3. The, the other outlaw, the outlaws go to the Blowfish. Blowfish win 3-1. Freebooters taking on the Buzzards. Buzzards win that one, 5-2. Crocs go out to visit the Saw Teeth. It's all Crocs, 8-1. Platypie visiting the Overdogs. Platypie taking an early lead, but the Overdogs come roaring back. It's back and forth battle. Overdogs win it, 7-6. Freebooters out to Hawaii to visit the Burners, and the Burners crush them, 12 Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I <keep> keep <laughs> All right, Pioneer Conference, Pathfinder Division. Pioneer Conference, Pathfinder Division, sitting atop the Pathfinder Division, the Crocodons with a record of 14 and 4, with the most, while well, they're tied for the most wins in the league with 14. They hold a four game lead over the Blowfish, who are sitting in second place with a record of 10 and 8. Wow, the Uncharted Division, those Wild Pigs, also 14 and 4, tied for that best record. <clears throat> they are a full four games. Ahead of the Platypi and the Outlaws, who both have a respectable 10 and 8 record on the season. Yes, sir. Down in the Journey Division, the, the Grapplers hold first place with a record of 10 and 8. Um, just behind them, the Sandcats with a record of 8 and 10. So juxtapose the numbers. They're two games back and sitting in second place. Kind of surprised. And they have, they, yeah, you look at their run differential the Grapplers plus 21, Sandcats minus 21. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to the Sandcats in the season there. They're, they're, it's kind of a. Tough run for them so far. And there are Explorer yeah. Conference Seafair over the Seafair Division. The Houston Jacks, even though they just lost that last one, they uh, are 10 and 8, and they're in first place in their division. They are full two games ahead of both the front runners and the Heaters, who are also 8 and 10. And in our very own trade division, our, our, the Sirloins sitting atop the uh, trade division with a record of 13 and 5, uh, coming off that, that win in the last their last game. Run differential of plus 32. They're holding a one-game lead over our very own B-Wolves, sitting in second place, all alone in second place, with a record of 12-6 and six and a plus 28 run differential. Pretty good. It's pretty good. The Curiosity Division of finishing things off those Moonstars we just beat, still in first place at 13-5, and five, a 33-plus run differential. Still better than anybody in our division. Um, <clears throat> they are three and a half games ahead of the Saute, who are, have a winning record at 10-9. and nine. Yep, yep, yeah. That brings us... So, yeah, it's the uh, Journey Division over in the Pioneer Conference, uh, the Explorer, and then the Trade Division, uh, I mean the Seafarer and the, tr and the Trade and the Explorer, that are pretty tight. The rest of them seem to have, you know, kind of a quite a, quite a lead. Yeah, yeah, they do, yeah. I'm not used to seeing it at this, this point in the season. Well, yeah. <clears throat> that brings us to today's game. I'm sorry, I had to get ready, but regular season game 19 of 44. It's the... Arizona Peebles 12 and 6 going up against the 6 and 12 Gold Coats. We got a juxtaposed <clears throat> um, record there. The Gold Coats are known as rotation aces. They got rotation more than any, but they're a pretty, pretty balanced team though, so they could turn it on at any point. Uh, they're going to be seeing our starting right handed pitcher, Fran Japani, who's not quite 100%, right? She took an injury off the shoulder several games back. It looks like she's, she's game ready, but uh, just still nursing that injury a bit. She throws the ball harder than most. She's got pretty a average uh, junk on the ball. And she's just below average on accuracy. She's 3-1 and one this season, a good record. So she's hoping to extend that. She's got a 607 ERA she'd like to drop and a 1.16 whip. Yes, sir. And coming up behind her, the notable players for the B-Wolves, Laura Franco, the first baseman, has got excellent powder, power, very good ability to connect, and very good speed on the base back. She's hitting 375 with three home runs. Hanley Dexteris, who's locked in, and as we said, he seems to be on a home run kick right now. He's got better than average power. He's got excellent ability to connect, excellent speed on the base paths, which is debatable. Um, <laughs> he's hitting 329. I mean, guys gets thrown out trying to steal bases. I don't know how. <laughs> I guess what you would say is he's speedy on the base pass. He's just got bad jumps. Yeah. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't uh, steal very well. Um, but he's hitting 329, and he's been on a home run tear as of late, uh, as Tom pointed out. He's got eight home runs on the season. And then uh, Buster Biggs in left field, he's got uh, very good uh, power. He's got uh, better than average ability to connect and, and pretty good speed on the base pass. He's hitting 333 with four home runs. That's good. They're going to be facing the southpaw starting pitcher Maximili Maximiliano de la Rosa at the Gold Coats. On the mound, he throws the ball fairly average velocity. Not that doesn't put much movement on it, but he's pretty accurate, more accurate than, than average. Unfortunately, he's got a 0-3 record 
so he's looking for his first win this season. Uh, he's got a 5.31 ERA, which is better than Fran Japani's, and a 1.72 whip. Yep, backing him up, they have uh, Thornton at first base. We talked a little bit about him in the first meeting with uh, with the Gold Coats. Um, Thornton at first base, he's got uh, very good power. He's got uh, excellent, uh, very good ability to connect, and he's got less than average speed. He's outperforming his uh, career stats at this point during the season. He's hitting 339 with four home runs, and he's locked in. Nielsen uh, in left field, he's got uh, very good power, uh, very good ability to connect, and uh, better than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 200 with three home runs. He's also outperforming his career stats, and he's locked in as well. And then uh, rounding out the, the uh, three notable players, Pineda in center field, locked in as well. A uh, little bit about average power, um, very good speed, uh, ability to connect, and pretty good speed on the base pass. He's in 233 with two home runs, and he's outperforming his career stats as well. So these guys look like they could be some trouble, Tommy. Yeah, all three of their noble players locked in. You don't usually see that. Looking at the lineup from the assistant coach, getting it right here. Looks a little something like this. And the Dexter is big surprise. He's going to bat first. And he'll play shortstop today, the locked in Dexteris. Good to see number two locked in. Batting second is going to be Buster Biggs playing left field. Right behind him, Bertha Banks is play, will play third base. She hasn't been in a little while, so it'll be good to see Bertha on third. The, Ruby, the hot Ruby Green has been in until she was cold in that last game. So Bertha's been itching to get back in. And she'll, we'll see her put a, maybe put a ball over the wall here in, in Socorro Hills. Right behind her batting cleanup, Alora Franco, <coughs> the other New Yorker. She'll be first base, the f batting number fifth, Billy LeBoink out in right field. <clears throat> the old man, Gina Torrance, back at her home in second base. Freddie Knox is a little bit a little bit tense recently, so Gina's got a chance to come back in, but she's had a great season so far. Magic Moore batting seventh and, and playing center field. Um, we got catcher Eliza Peck. Want to leave her in? Or? Um, yeah, I guess we could do that. The uh, Gold Coats are, are 6 and 12. I think that uh, would be a good opportunity. And then batting ninth, and she will bat Fran Japani, who's well, not, not full 100%, but like I said, she'll be on the mound throwing the forefinger, the two finger, the curveball, the slider, and the change him. That's five pitches, Pete. Yes, sir. She's got quite the repertoire. Yes, sir. Never played a night game here at Socorro Hills before. Me neither. This would be a new experience. I hope the volcano doesn't go out there. Lovely night. A lovely night here. It's, it's a hit. It's not an actual volcano. <laughs> <laughs> no volcanoes in the Bay Area. <laughs> but good sushi. Yes, sir. Got me a plate. Just wolfed it down. Gold Coats are going to have Pineda in center field. Pennington at second base. Nielsen in left field. Thornton at first base. Ballard in right field. Cooper at shortstop, French at third base, good catching, and Della Rosa pitching, and the first four batters for the Gold Coats are all locked in. Coming to the plate in the top of the first, Hanley Dexteris, Buster Biggs, and Bertha Banks, they're going to take a crack against Maximiliano Della Rosa with his 5.31 ERA. The Gold Coats are getting out of the field here and stepping in. Hanley Dexteris locked in and fit in 329, eight home runs, 16 RBIs. And the first pitch by Della Rosa, we're underway. It's a ball high. 1 0 the count for Dexter. He's going to wait for that right pitch. There's a strike. We're even up. One apiece. Third pitch out to Kern. Strike two. And Dexter has got two against him. De La Rosa's fourth pitch is right in there. Dexter pops it. It's going to drift foul. No one's going to get it in the grass. Foul ball. Third base line. High and inside ball. Two good patience. Dexter's right out. Two apiece. That one's right in there. Hits that one foul down the line. Swinging a little early on those size, too. <coughs> that one in the grass. Trapped. In the dirt. Dexterous, it's another foul ball. We have full count, and he's already thrown his ninth pitch to Dexterous and walks him. Good patience by Dexterous. De La Rosa can't believe he's started off in the hole. Yes, sir. Buster Biggs, the left fielder's neutral and fit, hitting 333 with four home runs, 11 RBIs. First pitch to Biggs is in there for cold strike. Strike one. That's banged into center field. Center fielder's calling for it. He's under it. Makes the catch. Pinedo will get that in to the infield. And now batting the third. Dexterous has to stay yeah. <laughs> Brother Banks up 349 of the season. Four home runs. Big crowd on hand here. Really supporting the team. Who's 
He's got a losing record. That one's passed the mound into center field. That makes it in. Pineda's going to pick that up and keep Dexterous from going to third. Nice clean single by Bertha Banks. Good to see her back. Yes, sir. Laura Franco, the first baseman, hitting 375 with three homers and six RBIs. She's neutral and fit. Runners at first and second with one out. First pitch to Franco's inside, ball one. That's popped up behind home plate, not a play. So the count evens up. One ball, one strike with one out. De La Rosa throwing his 15th pitch. That's a shot, and that's going back. Oh, oh and yeah. a double play. There's a hard hit line drive to the shortstop who catches it and then flips the second for the double play. Coming up at the bottom of the first, Dunk Pineda, Guadalupe Pennington, and Peyton Nielsen. Going to take a look at Fran Japani and her 6.08 ERA. So the Wolves, no center. runs but one hit in the first. Dunk Pineda, the center fielder, is locked in and fit. Hmm. Hitting 233, two home runs, five RBIs on the season. First shot. Ooh. And that gets past Delora Franco into right field, and the throw to second is not in time. So Pineda starts off with a double into the corner in right field. Guadalupe Pennington locked in and fit, hitting 312 with one home run, seven RBIs. First pitch is low, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Dunk Pineda standing at second base. That's in there for called strike. Evens the count up, one ball, one strike. Chapani steps off the rubber and Pineda's back to second. Check swing, called strike. So Guadalupe Pennington's now falling behind in the count. One ball, two strikes with no outs. That's fouled off along the first baseline. So Pennington will get another pitch. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller to Dexterous is going to grab it, pick it up, make the throw to first for the out at first. But uh, Pineda was able to take third. So it's one out, runner at third. And Peyton Nielsen stepping in. He's hitting 200 with three home runs, 11 RBIs. He's locked in as well. One out, runner at third. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. That's inside a little bit. Ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. That one's high ball two. Peyton Nielsen, the left fielder, hitting third in the lineup. That's an effort called strike. The count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes with an out. That's fouled off. Along the first baseline, Nielsen gets himself another pitch. Two balls, two strikes with one out. Runner at third. Ooh, just up and out. Count has gone full. Three balls, two strikes with one out. There's a shot. That'll get in the center field. Run from third will score. So the Gold Coats take a one to nothing lead. So there's one out runner at first base. And Braxton Thornton, the first baseman, who's locked in and fit, steps in. And he's hitting 339 with four home runs, 13 RBIs. That one's a low ball one. One ball, no strikes with one out. That's an effort called strike. So the count is evened up one and one. That's outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike. Thornton, the first baseman for the Gold Coats, has good connection versus left-handed pitching. That's an effort called second strike. So the count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes with an out. Ooh, that was high. <laughs> ball three. And Japani has gotten a full count again. Three balls, two strikes with one out. There's a smash. That'll go foul, though, along the third baseline. Japani up to 20, 20 pitches. Oh. A shot that's getting into center field for a clean single. So there's runners at first and second now with one out. <laughs> and Japani is 10. Stephen Ballard, the right fielder's neutral Number and fit, hitting 176 15. with a home run, three RBIs. Japani 10th, up to 20 pitches. Oh. That one's anticipated, oh. and it's going deep, deep. And oh. out of here. A three run home run over the left field wall. And the fireworks are going off. That traveled 390 feet. That's Ballard's second home run and sixth RBI of the season. And the Gold Coats are out to a four to nothing lead. Haley Hooper, the right fielder, steps in. She's tense with fits. She's got power versus right-handed pitching. I just got to ask, 
Who two, anticipates three. who anticipates a leadoff changeup? Come on. Uh, <laughs> that's in there for called strike. Strike one. Hooper hitting 254 with two home runs, six RBIs. There's a roller. Dexterous will be on that one. Pick it up. Make the throw to first for the second out. <clears throat> two outs. And Messiah French, the third baseman, steps in. He's neutral and hitting 103 with a home run and three RBIs. Japani now is rattled huh. in the bottom of the first. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. That's in there for called second strike. She's going right at Messiah French. A strike out here would go a long way to bring Japani back. There's a, ooh, oh, and she missed it, and she's not going to get it. And a ground ball hit back to Japani, and she bobbled it. And was unable to make the throw, so splash good. The catcher's up. She's neutral. A fit runner at first base with two outs. Good hitting 190. Throw over to first, but the runner's back. Splash good. The catcher's got one RBI so far this season. There's a smash. Oh, and that goes right over Laura Franco's head. Oh, That's man. going all the way back into the corner. And there's a throw. They're going to throw it in, but it's going to be too late. Oh, my gosh. The runner from first was able to go all the way around and score. It's now five to nothing. Maximiliano de la Rosa, the starting pitcher's in. Steps in. He's hitting 200. Runner at second now. base, two <laughs> outs. First pitch to De La Rosa is in there for called strike. Look at her, ac her accuracy is shot here in the in this first inning. That's in there for called second strike. No balls, two strikes with two outs. Yeah, she's up. This will be her 30th pitch in the first inning. That's inside ball one. One ball, two strikes, two outs. But Japani having a hard time in the first inning. Strike three, she gets out of it with a K. That should go a little way towards bringing her back. But as we get into the top of the second, it's B-Wolves, no runs, one hit. B-Wolves, uh, Gold Coats, five runs, six hits. Billy LeBoyne, Gina Torrens, and Magic Moore going to face De La Rosa, who threw 15 pitches, gave up a walk and a hit. The right Billy LeBoyne, the right Billy fielder's LeBoyne. neutral and fit, likes the high pitch. He's hitting 438 with two home runs. How about that? First pitch by De La Rosa is a strike. Second pitch, a nice liner in the left field. At least the point's going to make something happen. Nielsen picks it up, throws it in. Good single by Billy LeBoyne. Get things started here in the second inning. Yes, sir. Coming up, Gina Torrens, the second baseman. She's neutral and fit, hitting 426. No home runs, but four RBIs. Check swing, call a strike. Strike one. That's high ball one. One ball, one strike. LeBoyne is uh, not, not much speed in LeBoyne. That one's inside, ball two. Two balls and a strike to Gina Torres. That one's low, ball three, three and one. And that's inside, so ball four. Gina Torres walks. There's now runners at first and second with no outs. That's a good start. It's good Magic Moore now coming at 385 on the season. 12 RBIs, which is promising. Del Rosa goes inside, strike one. Top of the second, low pressure, five, nothing low pressure. Hard hit in the left center field. Is that going to land? Oh, Nielsen catches it. That's a tough situation. The point cutter gets back. Eliza back the catcher's neutral and hit him 167 with a home run, four RBIs. Runners at first and second with one out now. Top of the second. Peck blunts foul for strike. No balls, one strike with one out. That one's in the dirt. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Two at runners at first and second with one out. There's the smash. Uh, it's going into center field, and unfortunately, LeBoint does not have the speed. Nor can I get, again, I have my finger on the button. Out <coughs> comes the rattled Frangipani. Hitting zero on the season. Uh, she's just a little, a little out of sorts, but she has a hard one to left center field. Sliding stop by Nielsen, but it's 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 she makes a single so good she gets in the first and Mojo comes up uh, There's no way the boink was coming home on that <laughs> No, no, that's a good stop if it would have got past him it would have led to some runs Hanley Dextera steps in He's uh did not Yes get a, a uh, initial at bat because he walked he just drove one into the left a field corner and that's going to bring in two runs so Dexter is with a double runs at second and third with uh, two outs <laughs> two runs very nice way to go and here comes Buster Biggs hitting 329 with 11 RBIs he hits one hard but oh 
Oh, it's going to go just a little foul on the right field line. <clears throat> good crack at it, big man. Second one's outside. 92 miles an hour. Good patience. What a piece. It's a little roller to shortstop. Hooper picks it up. Throws him out of first time that side. But the B-Wolves put two on the board, so it's B-Wolves two, Gold Coats five. As we head into the bottom of the second, Dunk Pineda one for one with a double. Guadalupe Pennington 0 for one, and Peyton Nielsen one for one. Japani threw 31 pitches with a strikeout. Gave up six hits for ERAs up to 7.48. We're not out of this, Pete. The no, sir. The locked in Dunk Pineda one for one. Hitting the ball is with good contact. First pitch by Japani outside strike one. Japani's just tense now, no longer rattled. But she's thrown 32 pitches. Strike two, two quick strikes to Dunk Pineda. That's a good guy to get ahead of. Her 34th pitch gets a signal from Peck, winds up, throws it. Swinging him a strike two. Three pitch strikeout, Pete. The mojo goes down for Pineda and it goes up for Japani. <clears throat> Here comes the locked in Guadalupe Pennington, who's also one for one, I think. So good start to this inning. The crowd giving her the business, though. They do love them, the baseball out here in California. First pitch ball, second pitch strike. Not up one apiece. Japani spits out what she's got in her mouth. Number 40 gets her signal. Lines up, throws a toss. Hard hit down the third baseline. This going to foul souvenir for a Gold Coats fan. Swing on a rolling bunt. Franco's going to run up, but she's going to toss it over to Japani <laughs> underhand for that second out. So far, I think he's looking good defensively in this inning. And up comes Peyton Nielsen, one for one, as everyone else on the team. Japani's hoping to get out of the inning in under 40 pitches. Her first pitch, breaking pitch, misses high. Ball one. Second pitch popped out. That's foul ball. Mezzanine. Souvenir. Doug Pineda is still standing there. One apiece. Two outs. We'll roll over to Di Franco. Is going to pick it up, run it over. Oh, and toss it to Japani, who drops it. Who oh, drops the feet. That was supposed to be the third out. And here comes Braxton Thornton, who's on fire. One for the single. The outfield is going to play deep for Braxton Thornton. S strike one. Check swing. Japani's accuracy is down, and just Ooh. like that, she's rattled again. That one's foul ball. Hit into the grass, first baseline, and 0 oh and 2. She's ahead to Braxton Thornton. She goes right at him though. Gets that third pitch strike. Way to go, Japani. All right, so we head in the top of the third. It's still B Wolves two, Gold Coats five. Bertha Banks one for one. Alora Franco 0 for one. Billy LeBoyne one for one. Maximiliano Doloroso at 32 pitches, two walks, four hits. ERA's at 5.64. Bertha Banks the third baseman's new to bit. One for one with a single today. Mm -hmm. Della Rosa delivered 33rd pitch in there for called strike. Strike one. Allen's inside ball one. One ball, one strike. Outside ball two. Two and one. Oh. Catch fouled off along the first baseline. Out of play. Count is full. Three balls, two strikes to Bertha Banks. There's a oh. smash. And that's going into... Center field for a clean single, and Bertha Banks is two for two today, Tommy. Oh, yeah, I thought Hooper was going to pick that one up. She just missed Haley it. Haley Hooper's fielding seems to be really suffering today, Tom. <laughs> Alora Franco, 0 for 1, hoping to go 1 for 2. I do the math. <laughs> first pitch misses high. Ball 1 to Franco. No outs. Runner at first. That one's in for strike. One apiece. Third pitch. This is ball. And Maximilio Del Rosa throws a 42nd pitch outside. Also ball three. He's a little nervous throwing to Laura Franco, but he should be. And he walks her. I don't know if that was on purpose or, or not. I don't think it was. I don't think so either. Billy LeBoyne, the right fielder, favors the high pitch. He's one for one with a single today. Runners at first and second again with no outs. LeBoyne lays down a good punt. Meets uh, Del Rosa at the pitcher's mound. He throws over to first to get the... Gina sacrifice, but the runners move to second and third. And now they get that, they got two runners in scoring position. If Torrance can get an outfield single, this is a two run shot here. First pitch in there for a strike. Second one in there for a strike. Quickly, he's ahead of Torrance. Still a little pencil. She pops that one up down the third base line. That's waving. That's going to be caught. 
by uh, by French for the second out. Two outs. Magic Moore, the center fielder, steps in. He's got good connection versus the left-handed pitching, but he's 0 for 1 today. The runners at second and third. Two outs. There's a smash, and that's going deep oh. into center field. And oh. caught for the third out. Oh. So as we head into the bottom of the third, it's uh, B Wolves two runs on five hits and an error. Goldcoats five runs on six hits, no error. Stephen Ballard one for one with a home run. Haley Hooper 0 for one, and Messiah French one for one. Japani's at 44 pitches. Right. Stephon Ballard, the right fielder's neutral and fit, one for one with a home run. He's got three RBIs today. Hmm. Ballard hitting 192. Hits that one hard, fouls it off along the third baseline. No balls, one strike. That's an for called second strike. Chapani going right at him. Oh. Swing and a miss, and Stefan Ballard is a K. <laughs> K. That's got to be like her third, I think. Oh. Haley Hooper's tense, but fits. She's got power versus right handed pitching, but she's 0 for 1 today. Hooper playing shortstop. As we discussed uh, during the top half of the inning, that's an for called strike. Hooper seems to, her feeling seems to be suffering. That may come into play today. Oh. She anticipated that one, and it's going deep, but it's curving foul out of play. So, no balls, two strikes with one out. Crowd on their feet. To Haley Hooper, yeah, the crowd standing. And there's a roller, and that's going to oh. Haley Dexterra's with a diving stop. Oh. Unfortunately, it couldn't get the ball over in time. And Hooper <laughs> takes a, a boost to the ego. Messiah French, one for one today. One out runner at first base has some, some speed. That one's low, ball one. Messiah French playing third base with a goal coach, only hitting 125 this season. That's in there for a cold strike. One ball, one strike with one out. Throw over to first, but Hooper's able to get back. One ball, one strike with one out. There's a roller. Oh. Oh, the did not pick that one up. I was able to get into center field for a clean single, so now there's runners at first and second with one out. Splash good, the catcher stepping in. She's one for one with a double and an RBI. First pitch is in there for cold strike. Strike one. Good catching for the Gold Coast. That's popped up behind home plate, out of plate. Good is in the hole. No balls, two strikes with one out. Oh, just missed the low inside corner. So one ball, two strikes. There's a smash. Oh. Come on, I hit the dive button. Jeez, every time she gets ahead, then they hit her, and now... Oh. Base is loaded now with one out. Maximiliano De La Rosa's tense, but Fitty's 0 for 1 today, hitting 167. Oh, look at... Oh. Base is loaded. Pitches in there for called strike. Strike one. Couple of that's popped oh, up. Oh come on! And that's going to be oh. caught by De uh, Dexteras for the second out. He gets the ball to Peck to hold everybody where they are. So two outs now. The bases are still lo loaded. Dunk Pineda, the center fielder, is one for two with a double. Chipani up to 59 pitches in the <laughs> bottom of the third. That's in there for cold strike. Strike one. That's in there for cold second strike. And Japani's in the uh, driver's seat. No balls, two strikes with two outs. That's just got a piece of it and pushed it off foul along the first baseline. No balls, two strikes. That's in there for cold third strike. Way to go, friend, Japani. Holy cow, a little flourish there. <laughs> So Japani gets herself out of trouble, but it's uh, as we head into the top of the fourth, it's still Go Colts five, uh, Buells two. Eliza Peck 0 for one, Fran Japani one for one, and Dex Harris one for one with a double and a walk. Now batting the catcher, Eliza 53. Peck the catcher. She's neutral and fit. 0 for one today though. Hoping to go one for two. Hits it hard right to throw right. first base. Right up there. Right. Now batting. <sighs> Fran Japani's tense, but well, her power is way down. She's one for one with a single. She's hit 143 so far this season. Nobody on, one out in the uh, top of the fourth. First pitch is in there for called strike. Strike one. Huh. That's in there for called second strike. No balls, two strikes to Japani. Now it's inside. One ball, two strikes. 
De La Rosa delivers. High. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Allen's fouled off along the third baseline. Two and two. There's a roller that's going to get through to Hooper. He's going to pick it up, make the throw to Thornton for the second out. And we're back to the, the stop, top of the batting order. <coughs> Haley Dexter is one for one with a double walk and something else. Two outs. On top of the fourth, that one's inside ball one. Five two gold coats in the top of the fourth inning. That's a corner ball two. It looks like Del Rosa's pitching around him. That one's in his wheelhouse, but he hits a hard liner straight to Hooper. Double pump, three outs. One, two, three. Not good. Not good. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Gold Coach holding on to that 5 2 lead. Guadalupe Pennington 0 for 2. Peyton Nielsen 1 for 2. And Braxton Thornton 1 for 2 with a strikeout. Japani's at 63 pitches with five strikeouts, giving up nine hits. Her ERA is down to 6.98, which is actually higher than she started with. <laughs> Pendleton's locked in and fit. She's 0 for 2 on the day, though. Japani's hoping she goes 0 for 3. Japani's still a little bit tense. <clears throat> hoping to shake that tension here in the bottom of the fourth. Nice curve ball to start things off. Strike one to Pennington. Second pitch. Misses high and outside. Ball one. They want a piece. Great night here for baseball. Beautiful weather. And the Gold Coast. That one misses ball two. Two one to count to Pennington. That one makes it in there for a strike. Pennington has yet to swing the bat. You think she's probably going to do it here. And he gets her watching. She gets her. <laughs> Change of inside corner. Peyton, that brings up Peyton Nielsen, who's one for two. Single RBI in the day. Chapani seems to be throwing well in these in these even innings. Pit. <laughs> that pitch makes it outside. Straight. Boy, do I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> this pitch brought to you by Steel Sports Briefs. Oh, and that's one that Freddie Knox would have picked up, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. But Gina Torrance dives and misses, makes it safe to first base. Poor Chapani, every time she seems like she's making progress... Something uh, happens and she loses it. I'm telling you, that brings it back to Thornton. One out. Japani hoping he hits it to a double play. She throws her 71st pitch low and outside, strike one. It's uh, Braxton Thornton is locked in. Curveball misses ball one. The outfield's going to drift back for Thornton just in case. Inside a strike, low side strike two, one and two the count. Can she get him chase? He hits a hard one down the line, first baseline souvenir. Foul ball. Pops that one behind the plate. That's going to go behind the net, off the top of the net. Another foul ball. We're still at one and two to Braxton Thornton. Anticipated ah. that one. It goes straight up the middle. Magic Moore's going to pick it up and throw it towards third to hold him up. That's another single. Got runners at first and second with one out. <clears throat> Stephen Ballard comes up. One for two with a home run earlier. Chapani's accuracy has got a little left to be desired. That one up near the hands of Braxton, of Stephen Ballard, I'm sorry. Gets that one oh. hard into the gap in the left field. Buster Biggs picks up and throws it in to hold him up. And now we got the bases loaded with just one out. Chapani was here just the last inning with bases loaded. So hopefully she can get out of this again. She is struggling. Yeah, she is. She's just struggling. Haley Hooper comes up. The 79th pitch misses inside. Ball one to Hooper. Hoping to add the score. Hits that one down the line. Foul. One and one the count. Oh, and that one's hit hard in the gap in right center field. LeBoink's going to have to go home. They get one run. And another single. And still just one out. <coughs> and up comes Messiah French. is two for two with two singles. Which doesn't bode well for Japani. Good contact hitter. And they're looking to the bullpen here in the fourth inning. Now pitching. And they decided they're going to give Fran Japani the towel. And they're going to bring in Dusty Winder, the reliever, the C-plus reliever. He's going to have to go, hopefully, go aggressive and get out of this thing, go many innings. He's the right-hander. He's got 3.29 ERA, which is great, a 102 whip, 11 Ks. Throws a ball, pretty average velocity, not crazy junker accuracy, but he's, he's rested. He throws a four-finger the curveball in the changeup, and he's going to hopefully pick up the pieces and get out of this this situation with a four-run lead. Nice breaking pitch outside corner. Ball one of that curve or strike one of that curveball. Right, change up right in there for strike two, and he's going right at Messiah French. Let's see what he does here for the third pitch. 
Breaking pitch low. Nice three pitch strikeout. French didn't like it. He jaws with the um. But that gets one out closer to getting out of this. And that comes Splash Good, who's two for two. The double, double and a single. The locked in good. Fans on their feet. She hits a fly ball on the right field. Billy LeBoink underneath it. It goes over his head. Holy crap. Holy crap. Billy LeBoink misplayed it. Oh my gosh. And they're going to get multiple runs on that one. Unbelievable. That. That, I don't know how he missed it. I don't know how he missed it. They get three more runs. It's now nine to two. That was not, not good. The deck hit a little lower to the exterior. With bare hands, it throws it the first and gets out of it. Oh. oh. But now it's nine two Gold Coats as we head into the top of the fifth. Buster Biggs 0 for two. Bertha Banks two for two, and Laura Franco 0 for one with a walk. Maximiliano De La Rosa 58 pitches with three walks, five hitches. ERA is at 5.18. Oh. Buster Biggs, the left fielder, is neutral and fit. 0 for two today though, but he's hitting 324 with four home runs. I'm gonna be sick. And Give me a garbage yes. can. That <laughs> yeah, one was a rough one, yeah. First pitch is in there for called strike. Well, a swing and a miss. The second one's in there for called strike. So 0 and two to Buster Biggs. Check swing. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. There's a smash. That'll get into center field. Right center field for a clean single. Pineda tracks it down and gets it in. But Buster Biggs with a single to start the fifth inning. That didn't look good at first. <laughs> Bertha Banks, two for two with two singles, 378. That's that's a good. Uh, that's a good. Buster Biggs got some speed, and Del Rose is keeping an eye on him. First pitch is outside ball one. Second pitch inside popped oh. up. That's going to be an easy out. Dunk Pineda waved him, waving him off in center field. And uh, Buster yeah. Biggs comes back to first. One out. One out. And up steps Alora Franco, the first baseman. She's neutral fit, but 0 for 1 today with a walk. Hitting 367 on the season with three home runs, six RBIs. Ball inside. One ball, no strikes. Oh. That's popped up into right center field. Pineda once again makes the catch. Buster Biggs thinks about tagging up, but ball is in too quickly. So, again, two outs with Buster Biggs at first base. I tell you, Billy Boink likes the pitches high. There goes Buster Biggs for second. Uh, and he swings, fouls it off. Foul ball. Second pitch ball, one apiece. Two outs, top of the fifth. Arcing pitch oh, makes it in there for a strike. One and two the count. Outside corner hits a liner up the middle. That's going to be in there safe. Pineda's going to stop it and hold him up. Clean single. All right. So runners at first and second with two outs. Gina Torrance, the second baseman, is neutral and pitch. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Gold Coats 9, B Wolves 2. So first pitch is in there for cold <laughs> strike. Strike one. That smashed foul along the first baseline. And Torrance now in the hole. Oh, no balls, two strikes. That one's high, ball one. One ball, two strikes with two outs. That one's outside. Two balls, two strikes. Pineda delivers. That oh. smashed foul along the first baseline. Out of play. So Torrens is making De La Rosa pitch here. That one's high. Count has gone full. Three balls, two strikes. De La Rosa losing her a bit. <laughs> Another foul ball into the first base stance. And Torrance walks. After De La Rosa went no balls, two strikes on her, she winds, he winds up walking her. Yeah, got the pitch count up there. And there he goes. That's going to be enough for De La Rosa. He threw himself out. Wax Cantu, the reliever, right-handed pitcher, is going to come in. Number 21, D-plus ranked, 6.0 ERA, 167 whip, and 14 Ks in the season. He doesn't throw very hard at all, but he puts crazy movement on it. He's really accurate. Uh, he's pitched recently, so he's not 100% uh, stamina. He throws a forefinger, the slider, and the curveball. Look for that breaking pitch, Pete. And Magic. Yes, sir. Base is loaded. Magic could, could bring him close here. Oh, a blast on the right field line foul. Oh, on the count. That one high and inside. Good patience, that second pitch. One apiece. Wax can't two throws outside. He pops that out down the left field line. Drop, drop, drop. No. It drops right into the glove. Of yeah, just Nielsen. carries, just carries uh, far enough. Like a beach ah. ball. Yep. Yeah. 
Going into the bottom of the fifth again, it's uh, B Wolves two runs on seven hits with one error. Gold Coats nine runs on 14 hits. Doug Pineda one for three with a double and a now two strikeouts. That's all you need to know. Neutral and fit <laughs> one for three with a double. 39. Dusty Winder is tense. He's thrown five pitches. That one's popped up into right field. Billy LeBoink is under it this time. Makes the kick. One out. Now Guadalupe Pennington, the shortstop's neutral and fits. She's 0 for 3. No one around the league is a good utility player. Winder is delivering a seventh pitch in there for called strike. Strike one. That's in there for called second strike. Guadalupe Pennington finds herself in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Oh, almost got her to chase, but a little low. Ball one. Low ball two. Winder gone two balls, two strikes with one out to Guadalupe Pennington. There's a shot that's getting into center field for a clean single. Guadalupe Pennington will be standing at first with one out. Peyton Nielsen, the left fielder, is blocked in and fit two for three with two singles and an RBI. One out. Sounds low ball one. One ball, no strikes with one out. That's in there for called strike. Evens the count at one and one. Pennington standing at first base. That one's a little ball, too. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. And Peyton Nielsen was out in front of that one. Count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at first base. Gold Coats nine. Buell's two. That one's in the dirt. And the count has gone full. Three balls, two strikes. That's banged into center field. Magic Moore is back under it. Makes the catch. He's throwing it into second base. And they will hold Guadalupe Pennington to first. So two outs with a runner at first base. And Braxton Thornton, who's locked in and fit. Two for three with two singles. Thornton playing first base for the Gold Coats today. First pitch is hit to Torrens, who will pick it up, make the throw to first for the third out. And we're retired. We're going into the top of the sixth. B Wolves need seven to tie, eight to take the lead. It's 9 2 Gold Coats. Eliza Peck 0 for 2. Dusty Winders first at bat. And Hanley Dexter is 1 for 2 with a double and a walk. Cantu's at three pitches. His ERA is at 5.87. Eliza Peck, the catcher's neutral and fit, but she's 0 for 2 today, but she's hitting 158 on the season. Come on, Eliza. Let's get it going here. First pitch is low ball. What? That one's inside, ball two. You can see that from a mile away. Two balls and no strikes for Peck. Oh! There's a smash. Oh, and Cantu takes it off the face. And there's nobody at first base, so Eliza Peck will pull in with a single. But Cantu took a hard shot off the off the bat of Eliza Peck, and he was down. Yeah, they're going to pull Cantu here. Cantu is uh, going to be a dangerous job, man. <laughs> Pitching in <Yeah>. this league. <laughs> it's, yeah, he used to get hazard pay. Philippe McGee. Lee McGee has uh, got a 5.85 ERA, 1.3 whip, and 14 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, better than average velocity and junk, but his accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired. He does, uh, he's not fully rusted, so he's pitched in the uh, not-too-distant past. Known around the league as a composed pitcher. He's got a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. Mm -hmm. Hate to see that happen anybody. First pitch is right in there, right to Pennington. He's going to go to second for one and back to first for two. Yeah, shift on there, look like. Handley Dick stares, the shortstop is locked in and fit. Known as a tough out and a utility player. He's one for two today. Bases are cleared with uh, two outs. First pitch to Dexteris is inside ball one. That one's outside ball two. Two balls and no strikes to Dexteris. That one's inside ball three. Three and oh to Handley Dexteris. Ooh, that just catches the inside corner for cold strike. No, that one's Hanley, popped no. up on the uh, in the outfield. Oh, and Pennington, the shortstop, <laughs> is able to get out to mid center field to make mm. the catch. We're heading into the bottom of the sixth. It's Gold Coach nine, B Wolves two, Stefan Ballard two for three with a home run and a strikeout. Haley Hooper two for three, and Messiah French two for three with a strikeout. Winners at 18 pitches with one now strikeout, giving up two hits. That's a lot of words. <laughs> Stephen Ballard is two for three. The home run is single. Yes. And uh, Dusty Winters throwing 18 pitches. He's still on the high side of his energy, but he has to pitch. 
Magic more stops, slides in, but can't quite grab it. Doggone. Nice attempt. Uh, but the runner's at first base. And Haley Hooper's up two for three. Hooper. It's a strike one. The outfield's going to go deep. Hard foul ball. And the infield's going to go... Oh, I'm sorry. Infield playing in. What are they doing? Playing in! Oh! They made, they made a mistake on how they played. Run into third base. Oh, no. <coughs> infield was setting up and and they got caught in all right and now, no no it's all right and now the now the runner gets now the runners of the corners with no outs in the bottom of the sixth up comes messiah french doesn't swing at the first one it's a strike and will count 24th pitch misses outside ball one one piece curveball oh that gets oh my gosh that gets past everybody and they're gonna get the run in. Still no outs. Now it's ten to two. That went between. It went to the left of Winder, to the right of of uh, of what's her name, <laughs> Torrance. They got runners at first and second. Still no outs. And up comes Splash. Good, the catcher. I think she's three for three locked in, or at least two for two for three. Two quick balls. Diving stop by Franco is going to have to run it down and get the only place she can at first base for that first out. <clears throat> and uh, Philippe McGee comes up, number 90, the pitcher. Hopefully, Winder can get past him and then get that last out. He pops it up. Franco's running back, or Banks is running back. She's not going to be able to get on third baseline. Foul ball, all on the count to McGee. Strike two on the changeup outside corner, 0 and 2. The winder put him away, anticipated high inside fastball. It didn't matter. 30-second pitch. A curveball. He nails it. He nails it in the center field. Magic Moore is coming home. Can he beat the throw? No, he can't. Two runs, and it's now 12 to 2. It's a blowout. We're getting crushed. <laughs> Doug Pineda's up. Now it's still just one out in a in a pitcher. Anticipated that one in the second field. Buster Biggs is gonna try and throw him out at second. Yeah, it's, he's got three pitches. It's not hard to anticipate what he's going to Yeah. Run. And up comes Guadalupe Pennington, one for four, the single. And the rattled, rattled Dusty Winter throws his 34th pitch. She hits it hard down the first base line. Foul ball, one of count. Pops that one over the right field. Billy LeBoink is back and underneath it. And he's up. And he's going to throw that one in to keep the runner at second base. Two outs. Yeah, that's a 10-run ball game. <laughs> Peyton Nielsen, two for four, two singles, locked in. Outfield's going to drift back. we got runners at first and second. Anticipated that one low. The infield's going to do the corners in. Strike one. One apiece. Check swing strike two. Or two the count. Just missed that. The infield's going to guard the lines. That's what they're going to do. Two, two, two. Hit right over the shoulder of Winder into, and he throws that one home. Why is he throwing that one home? Another run scores, 13-2. to Runners at second and third. Two for four, two singles. Braxton Thornton comes in locked in. This is ridiculous. And they're going to another reliever in the bottom of the season. What can you do? The guy's trash. Ben, Benson <laughs> Rushmore comes in. Four, four figure, two figure slider curveball. He's got a 5 2 5 year, a 1 2 5 whip, and 14 Ks. And he couldn't do any worse than Dusty Winter just did there. Or, uh, or, um, Fran Japani. That one's popped up. Handley Dexter is waving him off, coming up behind the mound. Makes that catch for the third out. Ooh. Yeah, it's this game's out of control. Gold Coats 13, B Wolves 2, Buster Biggs 1 for 3, Bertha Banks 2 for 3, Laura Franco's 0 for 2 with a walk, McGee's at 6 pitches with a 5.57 ERA. We aren't hitting the ball and we're not pitching very well, so Buster Biggs, the left fielder, is neutral and fit 1 for 3 with a single. Those are kind two. of turn around, turnabout is fair play, I guess. Yeah, those are two important factors too pitching and hitting. <laughs> I don't know what else there is. <laughs> popped up. Must have big yeah, popular left goes. field. This is the Dunk Panetti Show, folks. He owns, four. Yeah. he owns the field there. First out. Bertha Banks, the third baseman's neutral. Bertha and been two for three with two singles. Come on, Bertha. 
One out in the top of the seventh. There's a roller to Pennington who will pick it up, throw it over, two outs. <laughs> two pitches, two outs. Let's see if we can go three pitches, three outs, JP. <laughs> you got you to swing at that first pitch. <laughs> Laura Frank over two. Good power. Here it comes. Pitch rate. Yeah, the outside corner. Wow, that looked like it was starting way outside and made it in there. Good pitch by Philippe McGee. The composed. Tried the same spot, but just missed. One apiece. Two outs. Miles. And that one is so far outside, no one would swing at that. Two and one. That one makes it inside. Misses. Ball three, three and one. Hitters pitch. And Alora Franco swings. It's a little high. Pops up down the first baseline. Waving it off. They're going to get it. It's Thornton. Three up, three down. Yep. Going into the bottom of the seventh, it's 13-2. Gold Coach, Stefan Ballard, 3 for 4 with a home run and a K. Haley Hooper, 3 for 4. Messiah French, 3 for 4 with a K. Rushmore threw one pitch as the area is at 5.11. Stefan Ballard, the right fielder's neutral. Fielder. Hit 3 for 4, a home run, two Number singles. He's got three 18. RBIs today. Only six RBIs on the season, half of them coming in this game. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> First pitch from Rushmore is in there for called strike, strike one. That's in there for call, second strike. No balls, two strikes to Stefan Ballard, the right fielder. Ballard has not seen a lot of, there's a shot, that'll get in the center field, and that'll be a clean single. So, runner at first base with nobody out, and Haley Hooper, the right fielder, stepping in. She's neutral and fits. She's got power versus right-handed pitching. She's three for four today. I think Hooper's playing shortstop, though, so that's probably why her uh, fielding is uh, hurting. That's in there for a called strike. They list Hooper as a right fielder, but they got her playing shortstop. So that's going to Hanley Vexteris will pick it up, make the throw over to second for one, but they cannot turn two. So they get the runner from first, but uh, Hooper was able to get the first safely. So runner at first with one out. Messiah French steps in. He's uh, playing third base today. Haven't heard his name a whole lot on uh, defense. First pitch to mm -hmm. French is in there for a cold strike. Strike one. That's popped up, and Laura Franco is there. <laughs> and he f she flips to uh, Rushmore at first base, but uh, Hooper was able to get back. So Hooper's at first with two outs, and Splash Good, the catcher, steps it. Excuse me. Throw over to first to keep Hooper close. Two outs. Pitch to good is low, ball one. That one's high, ball two. Two balls and no strike to splash good. Good hitting 280 this season. That's in it for called strike. Two balls and a strike with two outs. There's a roller to Benson Rushwell. Pick it up, make the throw to first to retire the side. So as we head into the top of the eighth, the B-Wolves need 11 to tie, 12 to take the lead. It's 13-2 Gold Coats. Billy LeBoy, 2 for 2. Gina Torrance, 0 for 1 with 2 walks. And Magic Morris, 0 for 3. McGee's at 14 pitches. GRA's at 5.32. Billy LeBoy gets locked in a fit. Likes the high pitch. He's 2 for 2 with 2 singles today. Philippe McGee delivers. That's in there for called strike. Strike 1. There's a smash. That'll get to uh, Pennington at second base. She'll make the throw to Thornton for the first oh, out. Mm. And Billy the Boyk's mojo's Gina going Torrens. down, Tom. <laughs> Gina Torrens is 0 for 1 with two walks, I think. One out in the top of the eighth. Ah. It's a liner straight to Pennington. That's the same play. Yep. Two down. Magic Moore, the center fielder, is neutral and fit. He's got good connection versus left-handed pitching, even though he's 0 for 3 today. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's hitting like gangbusters. There's oh. a shot. Unfortunately, it's foul. Out of play along the third baseline. There's that high in the air going deep. Doesn't have enough. Yes. It does. All right. That's Magic Moore terrible. hits a solo home run in the eighth inning. Went 401 feet. That's his fourth home run of the season. And it's 13th RBI, and we got ourselves a new ball game here, Tommy. It's 13 to three. <laughs> Just 10 more to go. Yeah. Eliza Peck one for three on the day. Two outs in the top of the eighth. That one misses outside ball one. Philly McGee throwing his 21st pitch to Peck right in there. She hits it hard up the middle. That's going to be a single. The crowd giving them the business. They don't like this other team coming out from under their thumb. Yeah. 
So runner at first base with two outs. Benson Rushmore, the relief pitcher, stepping in. He's hitting 500 on the season. And McGee's going to get pulled for Larry Cunningham, the starting pitcher, relief pitcher. Cunningham has a 4.24 ERA, a 1.53 whip. He's got 10 strikeouts. He's feeling neutral and fit. He does not have a lot of velocity. He does not have a lot of junk, but he has excellent accuracy. He's not fully rested. He's pitched in the recent past. He's got a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. He's going to inherit a runner at first base with two outs. He's pitching against Benson Rushmore, the relief pitcher. That's a smash. That's going right to Haley Hooper. He'll pick it up, make the throw for the third out. So as we head into the bottom of the eighth, it's 13-3 uh, to three Gold Coats. B-Wolves with 10 hits, Gold Coats 22. Larry Cunningham's first at bat. Dunk Pineda, two for five with a double and a two uh, strikeouts. Guadalupe Pennington, one for five with a strikeout. Larry Cunningham stepping in. I don't think he's going to hit. I think he's going to be, no, they're going to let him hit. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I thought they would have taken him out and then brought in the closer <laughs> to finish out the game. Benson Rushmore throws the first pitch outside corner, strike one to the smiling Larry Cunningham. They figure they're so far ahead, that one gets past him. Gina Torres picks it up on the run and throws it. Because <laughs> Benson Rushmore let it go right past him. <clears throat> Doug Pineda comes up two for five, doubled a single. Rushmore makes an adjustment, winds up, throws it. Breaking pitch misses high, ball one. One out, bottom of the eighth. Ten run ball game. That one makes it inside corner strike one. One apiece. Rushmore spits. Number 44 gets a signal. He winds up. Throws it. Swinging early. Hits it foul ball on the third base line. Souvenir for a lucky fan. Swings at a nice breaking pitch outside. But hits it foul on the first base line. One to the count. Oh, breaking pitch just misses too low. And we're knotted up at two apiece with one out. It's that one hard to Gina Torrance who's going to pick it up off the ground. Easy double pump throw to first. Two outs. <clears throat> that makes Guadalupe Pennington the next batter. She's one for five with a single. Rushmore has a big sneeze. And now he's going to come right at her. Look out, Guadalupe. That nice breaking pitch makes it in there. High outside strike one. Oh, on the count. Check swing strike two. Rushmore spits. He wants to end this. Swing and a miss, strike three, and he does. Well done. Well, here it is, Tommy. This is for all the marbles. B-Wolves, three runs on 10 hits and an error. Gold Coats, 13 runs on 22 hits. B-Wolves need uh, 10. 10 to tie, 11 to take to, to take the lead. Hanley the stairs is locked in. If he's a tough out in the utility favor, he's one for three with a double and a walk. He's got two RBIs today. That's a good night for Dex. Outside corner misses ball one. Again, our first night game out here in the field. Early swing and a miss. Strike one. One apiece. It's a core hills. That one misses inside ball two. A patient handling exercise. It's a liner down the third base line. He's gonna he's gonna have to stop. He's gonna have to stop up at first base. He was thinking about running the second. But uh, good good um fielding by the Hanley Dexter is standing at first buster base the left fielder's neutral fit. One for four with a single. Runner first base with nobody out. Wow. Hanley, Hanley took off before the pitcher even wound up. <laughs> Hanley next stairs at second base with a stolen base. That's going to go back to... And he's going to tag up and go for third. Hanley's going to make his way to third. third. He's going to make it. All right. So runner third with one out. The third base. That brings up Bertha Banks, who's two for two or four, two singles. Bertha Banks, he hit one over the wall. The pressure's up here. That would make it a six or oh, no, no, strike one. First pitch in there. She's got Haley upstairs third base. It's a, a little roller picked up by Hooper. Throws it to first. Gets that second out. Dexter scores to bring in another run. But it's two outs. And Alora Franco, the first baseman, steps in. She's 0 for 3 today with a walk. Come on, Alora. Let's keep it going here. Let's do something. Here's a smash. That's going into center field. And it's over his head. And she's going to pull in the second with a double. Way to go, Laura Franklin. Way yeah. to keep it going. Way to keep it going. All right. All right. That makes Billy LeBoink the next batter. He's two for three with two singles. Hitting 447 on the season with 20 RBIs. He leads the league in RBIs. So that's a good sign. First pitch is low and away. Ball one. The 12th pitch by Cunningham goes inside. Ball two. Good patience by Billy LeBoink. Got to run at second base. Two outs. Pressure up. Top of the ninth. Strike makes an outside corner. That's questionable on that call. <laughs> Two and one the count. 
high end pitch, and it's a liner in the left field. Nielsen picks it up, and they, they're going to have to hold up on the run. It's a good single by LaPointe. Uh, and that base is Gina Torres. Gina Torres, the second baseman, 0 for 2 today. We've got runners at first and third with two outs. There's some discussion in the uh, in the dugout about what's going to happen here. And oh, they're going to pull Gina Torrens, the second baseman, in favor of Steve Monstour. Monstour hitting 364 with four home runs, nine RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He's got better than average power, and he's hitting he's hitting much better. He's hitting with more power than he has over his career. He's got uh, less than um, average contact and about average speed. He's got good power versus right-handed pitching, though. So. Steve Monstour in for Gina Torres. Two outs, runners at first and second. Cunningham up to 14 pitches. There's a smash. Oh, and the first baseman's able to get a hold of it and uh, knock it down, but that's going to allow the runner to get to third. So first and third again, and we score another run, making it 13 to 5, Tom. Whoa. And up comes Magic Moore. He's got 13 RBIs. He hits it hard, deep to right center field, Pete, that's going back, that's back all the way, and it's out of here. Wow, three run home run by Magic War. Oh, hopefully it's not too late, is it? 399 feet, that's his fifth home run and 16th RBI of the season, and it's now 13 to eight. Now batting. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Eliza Number Peck, the catcher steps in, she's two for four with two singles. All this coming with two outs in the top of the ninth, Tommy. That's a smash. They'll get into center field for a clean single, and Eliza Peck standing at first base. Oh boy! Two outs. Now batting. Now you can't. Now Brenton's just gonna have to have a seat, right? Yep. <laughs> Brenton's gonna sit. They're gonna bring in a, a a pinch hitter for Benson Rushmore, and it's gonna be now batting Ruby, Ruby Green. Green. Good choice. They're, they're usually our DH. An RBI man hitting 378 on the season, two home runs, nine RBIs. Um, she's known, known mostly for contact. So we'll see. We need the pressure up here. First pitch in there for strike. One on the count to Ruby Green. Second pitch hit hard liner, but it's right to Thornton who closes the game out. And the B Wolves lose. Wow, kind of an exciting last inning there, though, huh, Pete? <laughs> it did get exciting. A little too little, too late. Uh, too late, though. I mean,. Uh... Where was all that offense over the course of the uh, the nine innings? I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, boy, we well, really struggled. Yeah, I mean, it was that you know, <laughs> well, there was really the the Gold Coats only scored in three innings. The first in, inning they scored five runs, four yeah. runs in the fourth, four runs in the sixth. They just poured it on in those three innings. Beagles get two in the second, one in the eighth, and then five in the ninth. Eight runs and 16 hits is not a bad overall score. Uh, no. But giving up 13 runs on 22 hits, that's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, the pitching was not there tonight. I mean, Fran Japani, we, we we expect more from her. You know, she lost yeah. this one in the first inning. That was, yeah. I mean, um, and like we talked about, even when she would start to make, seem to start to make inroads towards getting back um, something would happen and she'd slide back into yeah. being rattled or whatever. So it didn't didn't really last for her. Dusty Winter didn't do it either. Really, Benson Rushmore is the only one who kind of held his, his head up high. Yeah. Uh, offensively, Dick Stairs goes two for four. And you know, he got Banks two for five. LeBoink three for four. Um, so not bad. Three for Peck, Eliza Peck. I mean, uh, and Magic Moore, two home runs, Pete. Two yes, home sir. runs and four yeah. RBIs in the same night. Yeah, he was the offense. <laughs> he was the yeah. offense. Yeah, and then over there uh, for the Gold Coats, I mean, they, they were just, all of them were hitting uh, Pineda two for six, which isn't great, but, I mean, uh, Nielsen three for five, Thornton two for five, Ballard four for five, Hooper and French and good. And remember, the top of that lineup was all locked in. Yeah. And yet you look at the bottom of that lineup, Hooper, French, good all three for five yeah you know so they were they were getting it from uh someplace that you you wouldn't expect it to come from so yeah i'm guessing yeah. ballard's gonna be player of the game four, four for five with three runs himself one home run three rbis uh, we'll see anyway pitching uh frangipani gets the loss uh, throws only three and a third innings i didn't remember she went that short she gave up 13 hits 
nine earned runs, threw six strikeouts. So, I mean, it was hot and cold, gave up a home run. Uh, she was followed by Dusty Winder, who pitched two and a third innings, gave up eight hits in two and a third innings, four earned runs, uh, got one strikeout. And, oh, yeah, so Japani's record's three and two on the season. Uh, now yeah. she got her second loss. And Benson Rushmore comes in, like we said, pitched two and a third innings, only got one hit off him. Uh, got a K of his own, too. His ERA is at 4 4 0 and one save on the season. Yeah, and the sad part is, again, Japani, I think, was down, like, her ERA was down to f- like a five, right? Or six, somewhere yeah. in there. And now she's up to eight. Winder, again, I think he was down um, much lower than he is now. Mm-hmm. So that's where it's going to hurt you. Over there for the Gold Coats, Cantu gets the win. He pitched. Okay, this seems wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't, no, no, I guess not. Uh, De La Rosa started the game. So, um, yeah, Cantu gets the win. De La Rosa went four and two-thirds, gave up seven hits, two earned runs, four walks. His area is at a 5.04. He leaves with an 0-3 record. Uh, Cantu came in and pitched a third of an inning. Um, he gets the win. <laughs> um, even though he only pitched a third of an inning, gave up a hit. Uh, his area is 5.87. His record's at 2-0-0. Uh, Philippe McGee came in, pitched two and two third innings, gave up two hits, one earned run, and one home run. His ERA is up to 5.56, and his record is one win, one loss, and no saves. And then Cunningham came in, and he really struggled. An inning and a third for Cunningham, he gave up six hits, five earned runs, one home run, and his ERA is at 6.38. So, uh, yes. yeah, I mean, it was a, you know, both, actually, they, they threw more pitchers on the mound than we did, and, and we, sh- we were really struggling. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Well, players of the game, Pete. Three stars of the game. The three players of the game. The uh, B-ranked center fielder Magic Moore is the first star of the game. He went two for five with two home runs. He brought in four RBIs and scored two runs himself. So That's pretty good. Yeah, usually you get games with back-to-back home runs. Usually you get a game with back-to-back home runs in the same game. (laughs) That's pretty great. Stephen Ballard, who I thought was going to go first, the A-minus-ranked right fielder. Uh, number 18 for the Gold Coats. He goes four for five with the home run, three RBIs, and three runs. Yes, sir. And then uh, the third star of the game, the C-plus catcher, Splash Good, who uh, had a heck of a game today. She was three for five, had a triple, a double, and four RBIs herself. So a uh, good game to Splash Good. A triple-double. <laughs> We're looking at it here. Tommy G, eight hits, one home run, four RBIs, two great catches, and three strikeouts for a contribution of 46%. Pete J with eight hits, one home run, four RBIs, one great catch, one stolen base, and five strikeouts for a contribution of 54%. There you go. Well, and then post-game show, so so much for the winning streak. Wow, to get it handed to it. like We, we left there bloody. <laughs> yeah, that was ugly. Especially a team, I mean, you kind of felt like they were going to be they were going to be lying in wait for us because we kind of hung it on them the last time we played. But, boy, they, they really hammered us. Yeah, they made an example of us. Cranky. Yep. <clears throat> well, yeah, so that ends things in California. We're going to head back to Phoenix for one, one close game here. If I look down at the schedule, we're going to host the Heaters. So that'll be a big... In in conference game now we I'm looking up the line. Have we played the Heaters yet? We have not. It's our no. first meeting, first of two against the Heaters. We're going to see them later on. We'll we'll play them out in uh, Detroit at game thirty. But yeah, it's going to be Devon, Deshaun Levon. I'm sorry, Deshaun Levon facing uh, Lovestone uh, before we. Head out east for one game to play the Freedom, and then we go back to California. No, we come back home to, to host the Salty, and then we go back to Philadelphia. So we go Phoenix to Philly, to Phoenix to Philly, to Phoenix, and then we got then we got a little home stretch there. It looks like another one. Yeah, before we go on, and then and then it's really on the road. Yeah, so we play actually four games at home. We we host the Moose, and then two games against the Herbosaurus, and then the Burners. And then we're out. Then we're on the road. It looks like, geez. I mean, if we do, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine games. We only play one game at home. So that's it's a big road road stretch leading up toward the end of the season. 
Yep. So we're back and forth. The next four games are home away, home away. So. Oh Any man, that sucked. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, well, wash the taste out of your mouth with that one. So you know, it's not. It's never. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> nope. Just, nope. It's yeah. That's it's, that's the thing is you. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. You take uh, you take a team that you beat before for granted, and they'll they'll come back at you. You know, like a slice of uh, pepperoni pizza, as my partner would say. <laughs> Coming back up on it. So a little bit uh, out after the game, looks like there's a move here, Pete. Let me tell you about this. Uh, the uh, the Sirloins signed Mega Tedson. I can't remember where Mega Tedson uh, played, uh, replacing Franzilla. So the Sirloins dropped Franzilla. He was the uh, 31-year-old composed. Closing pitcher. Um, he was a C plus rank through the ball, 87 velocity. He was making 2.5 million a year. They pick up the um, relief pitcher, the 24 year old relief pitcher, Megan Tedson. Um, they lose velocity, obviously. She's not going to have that kind of velocity, but they pick up everywhere else. She's got 61 junk, uh, she's 27 accuracy. So she's she's a solid C plus reliever, known as a specialist as well. So she's. Uh, I don't know if she's right-handed or whatever, but she pitches well to her same side. She's making 2.2 million here, so it looks like they get a, a, a better overall reliever for 300,000 less. Yeah. Although, you know, um, when you look at it, Fra Franzilla was a closer, though. Yeah. And Tedson is a, a relief pitcher, so Te uh, Zilla may, may, you know, again, closers tend to throw the ball hard, but they don't tend to have a whole lot of pitches to choose from. Right. Um, so they may have jettisoned uh, Zilla in favor of uh, of uh, Tetson, who, who again, as a reliever, she can go she can go few, uh, more more innings. She doesn't throw the ball as hard, but she tends to have more um, pitches to choose from. So, yeah. Steve Monster also got new contacts. Which improved. It was his about contact. time. Yeah, dude. So he, he he goes from a B minus to a B. I mean, he got plus six in his contact. He goes up to a fifty three now. So. That'll be nice. We'll get him back in this next game here at home. Yeah, yeah. Against the heaters, it'll be a good uh, good opportunity to test out those new peepers. Yeah, in fact, the, the very next game is the Sandcats at the heaters. Both teams 8 and 10, so that'll be, that'll be interesting to see who wins that one. But anyway, there'll be 17 games before our next one. Uh, so I guess until then, this is Tommy G. And this is Pete J. And we're saying, get out of here.